Hey guys, what's up? So, having some issues with my steering. Not really issues, but it, it wants to tilt a lot. Like when I'm turning it, I noticed that my, the other day I had my wife turn on the steering wheel so I could take a look at it. And uh, I actually have a 442 steering gear. I'll show you that in a second. But I have this uh, steering gear reinforcement plate. Uh, my Bronco's 1966. And I have the... Uh, I had a, originally had like a... Uh, this thing obviously originally came with a manual steering gear box. Then I actually had a 73 gearbox for a long time, power steering, for 15 years before that thing went out. And I got this on eBay for like 350 bucks. It was a 4x, I think it's called the 442 conversion or whatever. Um, but then I have that adapter plate that I bought at BC Broncos. So it adapts a 3 bolt pattern to a 4 bolt pattern. But I noticed that the other day, like my wife was turning the thing, this thing was. Bending, I could see it moving around like it was bending the frame around a little bit. So, I thought I'd buy this, it was like 20 bucks, $35 shipped. Thomas Bronco, and I also wanted to fix up some of this stuff, re weld it in there, you know, make it better. Um, because right now I just have it bolted in there, and a lot of people are saying you should probably weld it in there. That's one of my other videos. So, um, we'll take a look at this. I'm gonna go around and have them bolt it, but I'll show you that. All right, so I'm gonna have to modify it a little bit. Here's the plate goes in like that. I have to clean the welds up, get that so it sits flat, like weld those. But yeah, I do actually have this plate, so I might have to modify this thing, obviously, to, she goes this way, sorry. Look at that. But I actually have like this thing the original guy put in there. That was like over 20 years ago, so I guess I'll have to modify this to have it fit in there. It's going to take a while to cut because it's such thick steel here. Alright. That's what it does. It just puts, adds reinforcement here to this plate. Alright, so I got the bolts off. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to clean all these welds up right here. All that right there. So I'm going to make it flat to get that piece of metal flat. Then I'll go back and weld it. So I'll take my little uh, grinder. Alright, so now I got the plate on. I'm actually going to weld beads all around here. Actually, I'm going to weld up the track bar too, all these little, make that as stable as possible. And then, yeah, I have a weird kind of a popping sound when I turn. It sounds like it's something binding that's popping in here, you know. There's a couple little, this was a slight crack right there. Just going to go look for these extra welds and maybe put beads on them. All right, there it is, guys. So I got the top weld done right there. and. I used my little tombstone, the buzz box here, the Lincoln. Got thing on Craigslist. But uh, hopefully that will give me some more support. And I did actually uh, weld the uh, track bar, and that actually helped uh, definitely a lot with the popping sound that I had in the front here. So that problem was solved, and it definitely feels more stable. So, um, all right, yeah, I'm not definitely not the best welder. So <laughs> uh, I use a 7018 rod. So, all right, guys, cool.